everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Saurita Casita. It's Brenda Schwader. Here is the deal. We are working with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, royal blue. See, I'm representing today. Um, aluminum, aluminum wire. And you guys know, ah, dang it, I did it wrong. The show is sponsored by John B. Corporation, so sure would love it if you guys would support them as well. Uh, we are working really, really hard. I should say Carmi and her marketing team at John B. are working really, really hard to get you guys some clickable links to be able to get these things. And this is what I'm going to put up here next is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to grab all these links and I'm going to copy those. Copy. I should have done that before. And so I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to post these links if I can find myself again. Uh, so funny. All right, here we go. Here we go. We are cooking with gas. Ta-da. All right. So, kyanite gemstones for some dangles. That is so cool. I love kyanite. I forgot about kyanite. Oh, there they are. I hope you guys can click on those as links. It doesn't, they don't appear as links on my place but as you can see if this look at that for a little bit the top one the top link is the John Bead uh, oh, that's the Dropbox link oh don't go there <laughs> my god that is so funny that's my Dropbox link box links to get them the things they need <laughs> I wonder if I could oh for Pete's sake it's 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 a day isn't it but let's get rid of that and we're going to edit that link. Anyway. All right, there we go. That should be gone now. So don't do anything with that top. It won't get you anywhere. It won't get in there anyway. But the, um, the Facebook group that I wanted to tell you about, which is where we now have all of the free, you don't have to go to my Etsy site. You can, of course, uh, to spend a dollar and get them. But um, why don't you go to and sign up for the, um, the um, projects, I think what it's called, maybe it's in my phone, which is being used as a camera right now. Um, here, let's grab this. That's why that's not in there. I was looking and looking and looking for, here we go. No, that's not it either. Um, anyway, so um, it's the... Um, Projects and uh, down, uh, projects by John John or John Bead link. Woof! I'm on a, a roll today. Anyway, so do uh, do check that out. The everything's in files today, so there will be a post that I'll actually kind of direct you to files. But all the instructions. So uh, this this particular um, project is going to be. Uh, it's so big, it's so chock-a-block full of goodness that it's going to be broken into two, two um, Thursdays, two lives. So everything for both is is downloaded right away. So if you kind of get what you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. And then next week I'll follow up with uh, the second half of everything to put it together because I was just like, once, once I start writing the instructions and they go into two full pages of instructions without the materials and things, that's when you know that that is too big for a show. <laughs> this is what I am finding out. So anyway, um, these other links on here, the 12 gauge uh, is a wire and the 18 gauge wire are, um, is the jewel, is the value packs in there for Pete's sake? Um, um, they are um, available on that um, through an Amazon site that they set up specifically for this. It's really, really slick. So let's see what I did. There we go. Facebook groups. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. We're going to get the whole thing. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back into, uh, here we go. Aha, look at that. Okay, so some of those wired things are in there right now. And then we are going to go and comment and put those in. Let's try that one more time. So you get the whole thing. And then what you'll see is I, I, I uh, truncated that last one, that Earth's Jewels value packs. But um, that is where you're going to get these lovely, lovely, lovely uh, sodalite beads right here. 
aren't these great? And they just reminded me of um, this beautiful uh, Ikat. I asked the person at the fabric store yesterday, like, what do you call that? Is it Ikat? Is it Ikat? And he said, you know, I've heard it both ways and I, and I, I can understand both ways. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, that's what these are. We're going to be, and I just was so inspired by the Soda Light. I was like, Oh, because that's what it reminded me of. Like, I was like, let's push it with some blue here and just really get our links going on um, and uh, get going there. Hi, Danielle. You guys, check out Danielle's shows. She is teaching for John Bead. She's a content creator for Stitching for John Bead. Uh, I'm their wire gal, and uh, Danielle is their stitching gal. Some beautiful, beautiful projects. She is so talented. And she's a young mom as well. I'm gonna call you young. You probably don't think maybe you're young, but you're a lot younger than me, Miss Danielle. So um, she's she is uh, juggling all that stuff. So here we go. Aha. <laughs> so yeah, check out, go on to um, like a lot of the stitching projects on Michael's. Um, Danielle, if you wanna put that link in there or anything, I've watched a couple of her shows and they are so cool. Daniel, I think your slot for Michael's is Friday at Friday afternoon. I can't remember. It's four o'clock mountain time. So I don't know what that means, uh, your time or anyone else's time. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this one, this one and this one off. See, I think I turned it off and I turned it back on. So. I just kind of wanted to to tell you first it, this this week was not it was didn't come easily. I mean, I was inspired by this, but I was just like, how what can I do that's really fresh? And so these are just a couple of the outtakes. <laughs> I thought I would show you these because it's kind of like they have have promise, they have promised that I haven't thrown them out. But the thing about working with with um with aluminum wire is that with the beautiful coloring also comes the fact that you need to be really pretty cognizant of the fact that you can chip this off. So for example, I love this kind of like really, you know, cool kind of organic link here. And it's basically just sort of made into this, you know, this sort of D-ring thing. And I was kind of like just just jamming on it with, uh, with now that's a hammer. Um, by the way, you can get that from Fretz Corporation and you can also get it at autofry.com, get the three hammers. But um, but aluminum really takes a little bit more, it's a little more fragile in that respect. It's so soft, it's so great to work with, but um, this is kind of fun, right? I did this kind of link um, on my craftsy class um, and uh, I talked, you know, just though it's called Wire Work Essentials, I believe. Um, or essentials for wire jewelry making something like that on, on craftsy which is back so cool so I was like okay I just it was just one of those nights where I was just like you know I'm just gonna keep going because I know that what happens um, oh thanks Danielle is that you know you're just a block but if you kind of just can get just like bust through that block you're so much better off. And so all of a sudden I was like, okay, this one worked, that one worked. And that's how I ended up with the six ways for today. So today's thing is called 3D Long Barbell Link. I have to look at the actual title. <laughs> so my, my titles are not easy to remember, <laughs> but they're specific. So um, 3D Long Barbell Link, six ways. And then we're gonna do the first three links this time. And um, I'll show you how to make the class, put it together, and we'll make the last three links next Thursday. Then in February, we are going to be so excited going into, so you know, kind of January, we're kind of looking at crystals. We've been doing green turquoise. We've been doing mookite. We've been doing um, aventurine, peach aventurine, all these kind of beautiful things. Um, and today, Soda Light, um, we're gonna be moving into some Preciosa crystal. Yes, we are, because it's February, and it's a time of love. <laughs> Can you stand it? I think one of the first things we're going to be doing is, well, because I have this project that I want to show you. 
uh, is that we're going to be going into these earth jewels. And look at this. I have this idea for some rose quartz. Mm. Who doesn't like rose quartz? Just want to eat it. Um, but some housekeeping first, you guys. Um, we are doing, if you guys haven't seen this already and you're not signed up for it, we're doing another version of the Great Bead Extravaganza, okay? So we are doing that the first weekend in February, which is, it's, so it's the Tucson, what it would have been, the Tucson uh, gem show version. And so Friday, I believe it's at 3 p.m., um, um, yeah, 3 p.m., I'm going to be doing this desert walk. And I'm getting some experts to, you know, some curators and stuff. Hi, Motorcrafts. <laughs> Forgot what your name is. Um, and we're going to be taking a little walk through the desert just to kind of give it that desert feel and stuff like that. So I'm working on that. But I want to show you the project for it. I'm just going to reveal it to you guys here first because you're my peeps. So I'm like, where, where did I put it? Where did I put it? So where I'm refreshing, this is just gonna show you an application for it. Is this fun, you guys? So this is like the love, this is my love word. You can get this template right here. And all I did was I basically, let's see, let's get this back a little bit. So it's, um, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous. I feel like I'm on um, QVC here. And look at that. <laughs> this gorgeous, um, beautiful heart um, and that is uh, available. We're going to get you a link for that. We don't quite have that one set yet, but we will get that to you as soon as possible. You already have the link for the aluminum, but what I'm going to do is show you these applications. And what I did here for the refresh is that I basically made these sort of clips. They're sort of very close to ear wires. Let's kind of go down here and show... So you can see, I just kind of like made these sort of clips that can go on things. You mean put them on your Yeti, you can put, you know, your, your thing, and they're basically just going to work like that. And then I even, speaking of Michaels, isn't this cute? And then Jim got me these, co these cosmic with a K cactuses. So you can put these on here. Let me just get this all set up for you. I'm just kind of like putting it on and and because it's the aluminum you can just kind of like go with the curve of the thing isn't that darling just love it don't forget to remember to water this <laughs> so i'm gonna put that back there i don't know if you can be able to see it when i'm here but also you guys know about our friends at Beads of Courage. We're getting ready for that. Um, I have gotten more pieces and parts, and I just kind of wanted to show you. Sandy, I didn't bring yours out here. You're going to kill me. I saw Sandy is on. Sandy's is still... Oh, no, it's not. It's right over there. Yes, I do. Sandy, as long as I'm talking about, we have four to show, with you, show you guys today. They're just coming in because the first deadline was supposed to be like the 24th, which is what, next week? Oh, it's in three days. So a lot of these are coming on and I don't see Anne here today, so we'll wait for hers. She's, hers has been here for a while. So this one is from Miss Sandy. I am so proud of her. This was quite, uh, you know guys, this, this was all from my D stash, right? And so basically what we've got cooking here is this Fabulous, fabulous. I cannot wait to. I tried it on and it's just a little bit too big because I have this kind of thing right here that I have to get over my little thyroid. But isn't this great? Look at all that sparkle in the band. So she hand stitched all that, Danielle. Isn't that something? And then and then it opens in the back. Okay, let's go down so I can show you it's a little bit better. So in the back, it's so, it's almost like it's um, uh, three-dimensional. Three-dimensional? No. You can do, there's a, her little tag, Sandy. Um, but you could also wear this, I think, in the, in the front if you wanted to, this kind of cool charm and stuff like that. It's really neat to wear. It's like be really cool with like a backless or like a low slung neckline in the back. So... Um, 
So yes, so this is Miss Sandy and thank you so, so much. And I just want to say that you guys who are sending me extra presents, you know who you are, Sandy. Not necessary, but I love it. <laughs> so I'm getting presents. I'm not supposed to be getting presents. That is not how this is supposed to work. All right, let's show you quickly. So um, Lynn Yor, this is what she said. <laughs> so da Lynn, this is how I opened the box. I love it. And then, so she has two pieces too. And I am just, I kind of just opened these, but let's go down. Um, I just opened them so I could get to them. But look at that. Aren't these great? So this, these little B pieces were from my D stash. It's like, how could I am so happy to have my D stash be so cool now? <laughs> and then she's got these. I think these are her polymer pieces. Aren't they great with her, her um, a lot of her signature wire mesh that she's been doing. So this is Linure. And so that's one of her pieces. And I did not expect, like a lot of you guys did more than one piece. We saw Linda Larson's piece last time. And um, so that was super duper. Oh my goodness, this piece is bigger. It, it fo didn't photograph as, um, as small. Uh, it's photographed smaller. Look at this. I'm going to be bidding on these myself. So this was the D-Stash piece, and this is a Banyan Bay piece, which is uh, by her friend of mine. Um, and um, look at this. So this is, she's doing a lot of polymer. It's so lightweight, you can see. And then she's followed up with these gorgeous links that she's been doing these Neato connectors with. So this piece will be going... Uh, up for sale too, up for the auction as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Lynn Your for this contribution. Danielle, speaking of Danielle here, this is so darn cute. So I had to show you, she even sent me, I don't think we have a whole lot of flamingos here, but we do have cactuses. <laughs> so Danielle sent this in a quite appropriate little bag. So I'm gonna do some unboxing here. Do, 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 do. Hi, Lena. And Bev, did I say hello to you yet? It's so nice to see you. Oh, double packaged. She fooled us. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Danielle. So nice of you guys. And pretty tape. This is very well packaged, you guys. I did have to say, I, I lost one contributor. I'm just gonna come up here for a second. Um, I just lost one contributor because the polymer clay beads that I sent to this person were cracked when I got there. So, Danielle, you are very careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Danielle as well did two pieces. She is such a sweetheart. Okay. Look at this. I love it with, um, with her stuff. Now Danielle also has a site. So this is the cutest little uh, bead, beady bracelet. And everything look better not that you know your stuff already is super great but everything looks better sort of under this glassine I think and these were the little polymer beads that um, that Danielle chose for one of her projects so thank you she was so cute I mean you I think you turned this around in like a little over a week with which I'm sure I didn't get you the things right away so this is the other piece loving it let me show you what the, the D stash item was There we go, and here is her card as well. So what a nice, lovely, yummy combination is this. And this is in Vincenti. Yes, you guys know Vincent and I think it's Una. They do these beautiful things. And then Danielle did this beautiful pairing with Crystal and 
Danielle, what are these um, beads right here? Are this this is some sort of jasper, I think, right? So bringing that silver up, but then um, you know, kind of bringing it through. This is so boho. I love it with the with the um, the beautiful um, leather and stuff as well. So thank you so much. Two awesome pieces. The cool part about this, you guys, is that we're really going to be getting so much money for this and people are gonna be fighting for these pieces. I absolutely adore this. <laughs> With Preciosa, Preciosa, we love Preciosa, don't we? So, okay, I'm just trying to make sure these go safely in places that I'm not going to hurt them. So I'm gonna save another couple. You guys were already 28 minutes into this show and I haven't done much yet, so. I haven't done any tutorial yet. Hi, Debbie. And who else is here? Kenny is here. Hello, my love. It has been a long time. How are you doing? Okay, so let's get on to this tutorial. This is the bracelet. We're gonna go um, back down here and show you've seen this in all the ads. And this has, this is where the six ways, the ways came in, okay? And um, it basically was like six ways. Wow, that's probably just gonna about fit, um, and I haven't done a bracelet yet, right? So we're just gonna do some very quick uh, jump rings and a very simple but uh, very fitting clasp right here. I love this one, it's just a little, can you see that? A little push to get it through. That's what you want. Nothing too hard because it's on your wrist. So, um, Here's the cool thing, is that this was really the link that started the whole thing. And you can kind of see underneath um, these two. We'll get into the, the wrapping uh, in a minute. We'll do um, the first three wrapping. Um, so I'll show you this one. And I have all the names down here. Let me see here. You know, as, for, as pre prepared as you think you're going to be, it's almost impossible to be <laughs> prepared enough. Maybe it's just because I'm just like blathering. Here's that gorgeous, look at this. Isn't that gonna be great? You guys will be able to get these. Love them. Okay, we're gonna put that in there just for love's sake. Um, so what I wanted to show you is, again, these are the free template and free instructions and things that are on the John Bead Facebook uh, project site. Um, and so these are all the tools right here for everything. Here's the materials. We're working with both royal blue wires and aluminum, the 12 and the 18 gauge, and then the sodalite. And these are the strands. These aren't those value packs. Um, and so here are all of the instructions. And this goes into, oh my gosh. See, this is where all the links get going. So it's two pages. But then your, here's the, if you guys are, um, if you have a jig, I did a jig, um, a jig pattern for that because we want to keep you guys happy and loved, feeling loved. And then I also wanted to show you this. So what we did is we adapt the, here's the jig part. What we do is basically just drop out uh, any information that will be, would be um, uh, confusing to you and just give you basically what you need as far as lengths and stuff so that you can be, uh, you know, um, uh, you can have consistent uh, lengths and things as you go to. This one inch mandrel here um, is basically just going to be, I call it your 3 d fire And this is basically what's gonna make each link into a ring, okay? Also, I wanna show you, this is a download that's available on that same, uh, um, thing. Uh, you can just go to blog.johnbead.com. These are all the fun, um, uh, you know, the gemstones, um, elements, what they are, sort of the spiritual meanings to them, what they evoke, uh, what you want to bring into your life. So let's see if we have the soda light today. It says that uh, it unites logic with intuition and open spiritual perception, bringing information from the higher mind down to the physical level. 
Uh, we all need that. I think I'm going to wear this, wear this every day. <laughs> As it calms the mind, it allows new information to be received. Um, see, once I started putting those beads on, things were happening. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is all of these six links come from one very simple barbell clasp. You know that I am very much into my barbell clasp or my barbell links and each of them is made with five and one quarter inch lengths. Okay, so um, all the instructions are there. Basically, if I miss a step, which I might, you know how that happens. I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to just tip this down just a little bit. Oopies. Keep holding on to it so that I can true up that end. Okay. Remember, this is 12 gauge wire. It's soft, but it is 12 gauge. So if you're worried about your cutters, this is fine for this one. Um, hi, Heidi Martin. Good to see you. Okay. So it's not, I, I will tell you in the instructions to go ahead and straighten this, but we really don't necessarily need to. Um, because we're going to be forming this um, and it's a pretty simple piece and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to grab that end I'm going to get down as far as I can I don't want to be able to, to hold that to do that or feel that and I'm bending around okay I'm going to switch my grip I'm going to bend a little bit further okay so that I'm not bending my wrist too much because I can always move this. Okay, I'm gonna go as far as I can and that's the first side. I will tell you that these are just a tiny bit smaller than quarter inch. So we'll see if that matters at all. And then I'm gonna do that to the other side as well. Do that, grasp, grasp that. And for this, for the jig, um, I just put like the lengths for seven inches for the jig version. But for this version, I gave you the exact measurement, which is again, five and a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna get into here and I'm gonna roll this back. Basically what I did was I made this P or Q link, which you sometimes would want this. This is, we'll get into this with the clasp next Thursday. This is what I sometimes call is the infinity link because if you just want it to kind of go away from here, maybe you're not seeing that link, right? That's what's gonna happen with that. So again, I'm gonna go perpendicularly into the here, right where I want to bend it, which is at that crux, right? It's right here. And I showed this a couple weeks ago too. This is. And then that's how you make that link, okay? What I also do is I've been using my nylon jaw pliers here, um, and uh, these are also available. If you guys don't necessarily know where to get um, some of these links, just go to info at johnbead.com and they will help you out. Say, oh, I really need to have that. <laughs> where can I get it? And they will help you too. It's just that a lot of, they serve a lot of different stores and there's not really one store that has everything. So that's just why we're doing the Amazon link. Okay. So, hi. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? Alrighty. So again, this is where this link is the key to all of these links down here. That fell in this bracelet. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're just going to fold this around in different ways to be able to uh, get, get these other links. It's just, it's, it seems like so silly, but that's all you have to do is just think of a different variations of a theme. All right, so I called this one, the first one is the side swipe, okay? And this is actually the first one I did. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this three-step plier that's available and I'm just going to trap this. This one here is about an inch. 
and I'm just going to kind of go around this. You can see I'm just really kind of using this hand as a, as a vise. And I'm going to roll this again. And this one I'm going a, a little bit of a diagonal. And I'm just going past a little bit. Okay, see how easy that was. That That is the beauty of this aluminum wire is that it really does form so easily with just even your hands. I'm going to back off on this too a little bit. So what makes it a, a diagonal is that when you're looking at this, right, you're sort of like having this be true to, you know, to, the, to level. And then the diagonal part kind of comes on in the back. Okay. So that's your first one. Okay, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna make the second one, which, so this one again was called the side swipe because it kind of bypasses, right? Side swipe. <laughs> All right, so and the next one is called this little because it looks like it reminds me of this little. So let's go ahead and quickly make those links. I'm gonna chew those up. Oopsie, that's the wrong player. You know what, if you are, if so that, that as with a lot of different enameled wires like this, um, it can chip off and that's why you want to do, I like to do really simple, um, simple elements with these Heidi is because um, you really don't want to, you know, the beauty of it is that it is so soft and so malleable. It's really a craft wire, but I would tell you that this, um, holds up really well compared to a lot of others that I've seen. It's aluminum, you know, so it's very soft, okay? Um, but I like to do these really sim simplistic links with this aluminum, and I think it really uh, adds to um, the nature of this, these bright colors and everything like that, right? Okay, getting back in here, we're making these. You're gonna see me do these six times. Well, maybe next week we'll just kind of. Okay, so we've got that barbell link, right, again. And you can see I really didn't even bring this to, you can pre-harden this if you want on your bench block, right? Um, let's see here. It was just here, I saw it, oh. I put it up here on purpose. So, okay. And then if you want to true that up, I always sort of hang these loops off the side so that I can kind of get and they're not gonna be in my way. I mean, I still wanna be able to move this so I don't wanna really harden it too much, okay? But again, I'm going to bring this here, right? Got that. I want to do this kind of equal. And again, all this is in your instructions. I'm going to bring these up. I'm going to bring them in as close as I can get. And I'm so funny. And then I'm going to let me see. Let's let's show you the finished one here. So it looks like it's wrapped here, but this is the wrapping on of the loop. And so basically, I'm just making this um, bend right here, right at the base of this neck. I'm base. I'm going to take this right here, and I'm just going to bend that. Up, and I probably bent it too far so that it forms like this. Now this must be less than a um, less than a um, true inch. So I'm gonna grab my inch mandrel right over here, 
Corey so you can see, because basically this is very different, isn't it? So you want to use a mandrel that is an inch specifically, okay? So here's an inch one. And you'll see the difference now, just watch this. This is bringing it around just like that. And there you have that. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this perpendicular. So it's called this little. <laughs> so this little, and then the next one is called this big. sure can you guys hear the it's not raining anymore but we have uh, just some more of the rain falling I don't know how well you could hear so and here's a you know when this is just straight off the the roll here I'm just going to chew that up if you have these little top hats you know these little pointy hats you want to get those off because you do want that to be as true as possible. It is gorgeous, isn't it, Heidi? I'm telling you. It's so bright and fun. If any of you guys live like Danielle says she lives where it's kind of Kind of not sunny all the time. <laughs> okay. And where is this one here? All kinds of links. So this one's kind of fun too. And you guys can probably tell that these, uh, all these designs would make adorable rings, right? So there, you would just need to cut them down to size. But um, even this one is almost big enough. And it's kind of fun that the beads would just kind of like roll along there. Okay, so that's, that's this one. And that's just gonna come up the sides of this to make that, for, that, uh, that formal thing. Okay. Using that, I'm coming at this, what I call parallel too. So the, the links are parallel. I'm just gonna hold it here. And I'm gonna bring these each up like a U and I'm gonna do that evenly on a one inch mandrel. So and if you have one that's a little bit more, have you ever had this trick? So say you're getting one, <laughs> now it's, it's hard for me to do it wrong. Um, if you have, say, you know, one that's a, a lot longer on one side, just kind of back off that one and then, you know, take up more of the space with the, with the longer one. Okay. So I will say this one must have been shorter. I'm going to have to do that. Here we go. I am... Um, so you can see, I was wondering about this as I was talking to you guys, like something's telling me that this one's shorter. So we're gonna have to cut this one down and fix the instructions on that one. And we'll do that and get those instructions back up here. But basically the, uh, the, the premise is the same, right? Alrighty. So let's go ahead and do some of these connectors. So basically I'm just using like, you know, four to five inches on this binding wire. I, my big thing is I hate to, you know, have to do things over again. So I generally will opt for using more wire instead of being a little greedy. <laughs> and uh, so that I don't have to do things over again. Okay. So let's just start, uh, start with this, um, this sort of easy one right here. 
And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going threading through all of these guys and then threading through the ends and then just really kind of coming down, slipping down here and anchoring these just right above uh, the neck of the bead. Okay, so let's do that. We'll pick some of these beautiful sodalite beads. And you can do this... Um, Sometimes what I like to do is so that, especially with the aluminum wire, is so I'm not sort of fitting, fitting, fiddling this through and, and bending my wire more than I have to. I'm gonna put it through that first loop anyway, just make sure that they're as closed as possible. This is just a cold connection. So they're, they're able to still slip through. And I'm just gonna feed three of these on here. Uh, if I didn't say it, which I know I didn't so far, these are eight millimeter beads. I think they also have on the site um, some six millimeters, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda like do that one so I'm not losing that, just kinda like giving me a little bit of uh, insurance there. And I'm pulling this one really nice and I'm kind of coming down. See how easily I can form this with my hands. If you do have some, you know, some problems with uh, arthritis or whatever this is a great wire to work with so see I'm just really getting this really nice and tight and pretty in there and what I like to do is I like to do like two or three I kind of look at both sides and I like to have my ending in here so what I'll do is I'll back off this is the area where it's least expected to be seen kind of back off a little bit I'm putting the back end of my pliers here and I'm just going to snip okay I'm gonna leave that here so I can do all of my finishing at the same time so I do want to come here's my opening so I'm kind of careful to come down and go along um, around the area that is completely closed and then a back to the inside area where I want to stop. I'm going to back off of that again and cut it. Get in there nice and tight. Okay. And then come back with your chain nose and here's where you want to be a little bit more delicate, right? And then just take that and this will tighten it on there and it'll also make sure that you don't have a little burr on there. Okay, at the same time, you can kind of just squeeze those together a little bit more. And kind of do all your finishing in one fell swoop. Okay. So this is a cute too. This could this could actually become a pendant, right? Since I gave you the wrong measurements for that one. <laughs> but kind of fun. Maybe like a little fidget thing. Shaba, I'm using aluminum wire, and this is uh, a wire by John Bead, and it is uh, available through John Bead. It is um, this particular gauge is 12, and we're wrapping with the 18 gauge. All right, let's get back to this one. This is the, the one that was called this big. Wait, this little, and the other one was that big, right? <laughs> so same type of thing here. I'll show you the finished so they can kind of get an idea of what we're doing. But basically, sort of the same thing that we've just done with, with only one in, when in the middle here. Now, if you were to do this in a silver or something like this, you could even trap this with a tension fit here by hammering it so that these were basically touching and giving that wire that memory, okay? Then pulling that out with the tension, inserting the bead, and it would just stay in there because of friction. But we don't have that with this wire right now, you see? And so I also want to just kind of like take this and chew it up a little bit more so that I can get in there. 
Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, that was that bead that fell on the floor that chipped. Um, actually, it didn't fall on the floor and chip. I actually, like, chipped it with my pliers. All right. Right? Here we go. Now, this is another way that I can make sure that this is holding this tightly, is to go down here again. Remember, so see how I'm putting this really kind of pincer grasp? You don't want to have your hand like this for minutes or anything like that. That was just for a little, little tiny bit, right? That's kind of one of those ergonomic things that you, that physical therapists will tell you. Okay. And I can even, not good for the manicure, but. Okay. So you've got that one. And it looks like a tension fit, but it's really not. So cute. Almost a ring. So let's quickly get those cut off and then I'll show you the last one which was the first link the side swipe you're welcome Shaba did I say your name correctly where are you from so cute so I'll have to do those um, and then there's this one they're just fun, and I really like that, you know, you can kind of just make something so very interesting. You know, I, I, what I like to do is these sort of layers of discovery. It's like at first glance you look at this, and it's just it's some 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 links, right, that are linked into uh, long enough to make a bracelet. But then as you look closer, you're like, wait a minute, some have no beads, some have two beads, some have one, three. What's going on there? So that you sort of have these layers of discovery where you're looking and you're discovering this piece of jewelry as you go. Alrighty, so now let's show you this one. This is the finished one. And it's a little bit different. We are doing our anchor points here, but then what I do is I'm gonna come up and add this bead and then the loop becomes a little seat for the bead. I'm gonna come down inside that loop, I'm gonna come back over, and then I come go through the bead, and then I'm going to, uh, again, anchor on the other side. Fairly simple. So let's show how to do it. What I like to do on this is I will go close, but I don't have, I'm not gonna to worry too much about being exactly where I want so that I can get a really nice Beautiful wrap here. How about one that sits next to? Okay. Because then I can push that into place. I can even kind of open this up a little bit more. This one I come over the top. And let's actually get this one a little bit trued up first here. I'm going to Cut that end off with my end of my cutters and true that up again. All right. So I'm going, again, I'm going over the top. I'm going to add that bead on. But here's where it's a little trickier. What it wants to do is it wants to just hang out there. Right, it wants to just go down as far as possible. But I don't want all that wire showing here, so I'm gonna split the difference, and I'm gonna actually tell it where I want it to go. So basically, I'm making this sort of like little right angle here. Okay. Does that make sense? So it's there, and then when I get to this side, I don't have all that wire, oopies, coming from the top, I've got it coming from, you know, about equal on the side. So here I'm going to take a big loop here, I'm going to kind of just easily feed that through. Okay, there it said 
you want me to be there, but I don't want to be there, so I'm going to give you troubles. <laughs> there we go. You sit there, and I will pull you through. Here's where it's really nice to have the plier. Hello, Susan. Okay. I just want to get just ever so slightly give that a little bit of push in there. Okay. Then, if you want, if this is bugging you, which is kind of bugging me right now, always get back in there and you can straighten this out. Isn't that nice? And then feed that right back up through that second one. You can see I ended up kind of opening this up a little bit more like a jump ring, so I gave myself a little bit more room. But now's the time where I'm going to close that gap. Right? So that they were a little bit bypassed. Remember that? This was the side swipe. And I'm going to make that right angle again. And load another bead. That's interesting. This one's really kind of more gray. Gray and black. Isn't that cool? All right. Then, why bother going back through that loop um, when you can just go and take this stitch, what I call it. Let's get that a little bit farther in there. And then wrap right around the opposite anchor point. Just give it a little nudge. As much as you can with aluminum, you know, you'll get used to just working it very simply. And I was thinking about this, embarrassed a little. It's kind of like my hair. <laughs> if you guys have hair that is like mine, which is thicker and um, not, you know, it's... I wonder why I like steel wire, so it's kind of like my hair. Um, so the least you do with it, the better off you are. <laughs> Aluminum wires like my hair. No extra blow drying. Just kind of like wash it, put it in place, and there you go. So you can see the underside. We've just got that one guy kind of going up in there. That could have been tightened up a little bit. I can probably do a little bit better on the next one. But the link is really pretty darn gorgeous. Okay. So here we go. We've got this one and this one and this one that I used too much wire on. Just imagine that it's down here. <laughs> and so we've got three of these today that we've done. I will give you a little hint that next week we'll also be doing um, our other three, but this one here, um, what am I calling this one? It's called uh, in interlink, right? Which is basically a loop in a loop. They're just perpendicular to each other. I thought, I just love the way this looks without, and what would you do? Where would you put a bead? You could put one off to the side if you wanted something like that, but it's really, there's no seat or there's no real, real like place to put one. So, hi Shelly, how you doing? Nicole is here. So good to see you guys. So, thanks for sharing that, guys. Um, I wanted to um, let you know just kind of repeat some things. Please do share if you possibly can. It helps me to keep doing what I'm doing. Trying to impress my friends at John Bead. <laughs> you guys are still on. <laughs> and um, yeah, so of course you can rewatch on my page. This is also being broadcast to uh, my, the John Bead Corporation page. And also, as soon as this gets done, probably by the end of the night, at least Sarah, the assistant with the most, is 
we'll, uh, we'll put this over on YouTube as well. Uh, I think it's just the Brenda, Brenda Schwader channel. It's not Found Object Maker. So uh, you can find these uh, at any time. And again, the patterns are going to be on the Projects for John Bead page. Um, and so you can get those for free now. If, if that's confusing to you and you just want to go to where you've always gone before, let's see here, you can go to um, my Etsy page and you can get them there. I'll just put a link in here. Brenda Schwader, I forgot the W. Do you guys ever type so fast you can't even do your own name right? Brenda at BrendaSchwader.com and they're just a buck. So there you go. So again, so pretty soon I'm going to be able to simulcast uh, where there's not even, give, even going to be any kind of delay. Um, hi, Carlene. Debbie's here. Oh, Debbie, you've been here. Thank you. Um, um, forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, please do share if you guys still want to get in on the Beads of Courage um, thing. We've got, uh, you've got until February 24th if you want to quickly use something from your own D-Stash or you want me to send you something else. Those are also, those pieces are also on the Etsy site that I put up there and um, it's just these stash pieces. The pieces are just are, are worth more, well more than uh, $5 each, which is just basically um, covering the cost of shipping for me, shipping and packaging. So um, I hope you can participate. We're really looking at doing this auction in August, August and April um, and giving lots and lots and lots of money to the kids for their journeys of um, their health journeys, right? So, um, let me see here, I'm just making sure. It's so, February coming up, so next week we'll do part two. The rest of these, because we have been live for over an hour. And um, don't forget to sign up for the Great Bee Extravaganza page. Um, I'll be going, uh, I'll be kicking it off with the desert walk on the Friday, but I also have that last slot, which I believe is like three o'clock mountain time. Um, and um, I just, it's not tomorrow, so I don't have that, <laughs> that time yet. Um, so yeah, so next week we'll be doing part two of this guy, and then we'll be moving into the February time frame where we're doing crystals and hearts and love and all kinds of stuff, right? Little love. I'm gonna give you a little extra love. So, cool beans. All right, so I think, guys, that that is pretty, pretty much it. I'm really, really liking this, um, this aluminum wire. If you guys want to start working a little bit more with this too, it's like the opposite of steel wire, which is so funny for me because um, I, I just love them both. Um, you can get like every color of the rainbow here. So just go to that um, that one, um, well, the second, <laughs> the second set of links. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, mwah. all right, guys, we have been going live for long enough. Um, if you guys want to get a hold of me, you can always email me um, at b at brendashwader.com. If I'm missing your comments or something like that, I do not mind getting um, emails from you, especially since I think it's really hard to find comments once. Like I, will, I always review them right after the show to make sure I say hi and to peep in, let you know I appreciate your watching. But after that, it just becomes all in that Facebook fodder, right? So, all right. Um, thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy your weekend and your week to come. Um, how about that Lady Gaga brooch? Did you get my Instagram thing? I did a little poll. So we might be doing um, a wire version of that. Wouldn't that be cool? So, I'm telling you. All right. Mwah. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. You know, I absolutely adore you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.